Cause the hardest part of this is leaving you. Hey, uh, meaninglessness. What's up? It's the Culture Detective here, investigating your favorite albums. Uh, and today I'm going to do an album review, uh, the second album review. I'm going to do two album reviews today because I'm a Chad. Okay, do it. And I'm going to uh, review a Trippy Red with Neon Shark vs. Pegasus. And since Travis Barker is literally featured on every single track other than one of the tracks, um, it's actually Trippy Red and Travis Barker, Neon Shark vs. Pegasus. And this is actually the deluxe version of Pegasus. Pegasus is an album released last year. It's super long, super bloated, super boring. Every single track literally sounds the same. Treepy Red aims for this psychedelic trap rap thing and it's just it's it's bland. It's boring. It's so fucking boring. Okay? In fact, it's so boring it became one of my least favorite albums of 2020. But now he's back with the deluxe version. I don't know why, but a lot of people are basically putting out deluxe versions of their own albums. Like, like it's a trend now. So, uh, Trippy Red is doing it, and um, um, it's weird. Because this album is where he sort of ventures into pop punk and, and rock and emo rock territory. And thus we have the Blink-182 drummer Travis Barker hopping onto this album, helping him. And we also have, you know, Black Bear, Machine Gun Kelly. We have Chino from Deftones and Dance Gavin Dance working with Trippy Red as well. What the hell is going on? So, uh, yeah, essentially Trippy Red tries his hands on some pop rock and pop punk. And um, it's actually not as bad as I thought it would be. However, is it good? No, it's not. And it's weird. Am I witnessing the Great Trap departure? Have we finally achieved peak trap? I feel like I have witnessed uh, uh, the next phase of our pop popular music history because, you know, in the late 2010s, the popular mainstream music industry is filled, filled with trap rap. It's the it's the big thing. It's the big thing. But at some point in 2019 and in 2020, people started realizing that you know what? Maybe it's it's a little too much. It's too bloated. It's too overplayed. It's too overused. Maybe maybe the people have had enough of this trap rap stuff. So you know what? Let's just make rock music. Um, Miley Cyrus, while uh, she's not a trap rapper, um, she also decided to go rock on his latest album, which didn't turn out so well. Machine Gun Kelly decided to go rock with his latest album, which is garbage. And now Trippy Red also decided to go rock. But of course, rock music isn't the only option when you want to depart from the trap rap uh, mainstream scene. You can also go soft indie pop, Rex Orange County styled, like um, um, uh, Jaden Smith. He has transitioned from pop rap slash trap rap to soft, dreamy, sort of indie pop music, which sucked and uh, other uh, musicians and musical artists are also beginning to dabble bit by bit into the indie pop scene so i feel like i'm witnessing the great trap departure it's finally set in motion so anyways trippy red neon shark versus pegasus um 14 tracks long and um while it's not like every single song sounds the same they're not really all that versatile. It still very much feels like a mainstream trap rap album, except it's a different genre now, meaning that a lot of the tracks still sound pretty similar. The production is still very overproduced, kind of bloated. The vocals by Trippy Red, not good. It's kind of uh, monotone, messy, 
overly thick, which actually made the vocals kind of blunt, like sonic quality wise. And the songwriting is, uh, of course, it's, it's not that great, but I still appreciate the effort. Tracks like Pill Breaker and Without You, literally the first two tracks, are not good. The opener features Black Bear and MGK, and you know Black Bear, he's been in the uh, mainstream pop territory for a while now, and he's just not, not good. He's just not good. And we also have a trap beat in the album opener, which is very out of place. In the second track, it is rather overproduced. We have lots of dense autotune and reverb, and the way Trippy Red holds onto his notes during the uh, singing uh, is, is just not so good man it's just it just ruins the song it's just so slobby and we also get these chugging guitar riffs on the second track which is not very it's, it's just not very fitting the track swimming features these bright guitars and uh, that's really nice but the thick vocals did not help at all apparently this track is co-written with dance gavin dance so I guess there's that. The track Female Shark sounds like a more psychedelic version of like a Kit Cudi song uh, off of Speeding Bullet to Heaven. The sweet melodies um, are too sweet in my opinion. It, it kind of made the song diabetic. And the lazy hand clap beats, they're a little bit annoying, I have to admit. The track Red Sky has these vocal switch-ups from Trippy Red where he shows more aggression, which is awesome. Um, him getting into rock music with stronger vocal performances, I am down for it. But still, instrumentally, it's very plain. Machine Gun Kelly shows up on this track as well, and he's not all that great. The track Sea World uh, is actually one of the better tracks on the album. Travis Barker goes really hard on the drums on this track, which is amazing. Even though the vocals are still mediocre, the track Save Yourself is also one of my favorites on the album. It's driving, it's fun, it's compelling, and it has that really heavy pop-punk vibe. The track It's Coming uh, also has some really impressive drum beats and uh, not bad guitars, but... Uh, what I dislike about this track is all the moaning and grunting. It's like Trippy Red had ran out of lyrical ideas, so he decided to fill these empty spots with the moans and the grunts. The track Leader is a more slow-paced cut that is kind of forgettable. The track Dreamer is a little bit too layered and once again too overproduced. Uh, Frozen Ocean has these really nice uh, emo-flavored guitars, but the incoherent structure and the yelps uh, made the track a little worse and the album ends off with uh, or, or the deluxe version of the album ends off with Dead Desert which is more of a scream rap track with slight rock influences and it features Zilakami and Scarlord where they just scream their asses off and it's a really hard hitting and memorable ending overall so uh, yeah we also have a Jerome Nemo uh, which features Chino from Deftones. The chorus is a little too layered and it just blasts and it's not sounding all that great, but still I wouldn't say it's one of the worst tracks on the album. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it at that. I'm a tired man. I wanna sleep. I really, really, really want to sleep. Um, and uh, my favorite track here is Save Yourself and my least favorite is probably Without You. I am giving Trippy Red's Neon Shark vs. Pegasus the deluxe version of the Pegasus album, a 4 out of 10. So if you listened to this album from Under the Images, rate it, like it, and subscribe if you want more, and thanks for watching.